Today is working on the van day, working on our to-do list. And Charlie's working on switching out our lights to LED, hopefully. He's trying to figure that out. And what I'm doing is I'm going to build um, screens for our windows, which we'll be insulating as the temperatures drop uh, so that we don't freeze to death in the van while we're camping. Oh, hey, guys. Hello, adventurers. Hop in the back. Let's go. You ready? You got the tunes? Let's do this. And these are the tools that we had. So uh, for the sake of just using things we had instead of spending money, I have a bundle of Reflectix, and um, which is just this, it's like a, it's almost like an insulating fabric. It's like, it's made out of mylar um, and really pliable. And then we had this, bag of uh, weed guard which is a black fabric which I'm going to use this can of locked tight adhesive to once I've shaped the window covers I'm going to put that fabric onto the reflectix and I needed to make some sort of template so I was kind of scrounging around the van to what I had and I have tin foil, so I'm going to kind of shape the windows with the tin foil. I'll show you what I mean by that. And then I have had some gorilla tape and some scissors. So let's see what I can what I can do. Okay, this is all a learning process, but I've made the shape of my template, taped it all together, it stuck really well. And again, this is a learning process for me and you guys. You guys are learning right alongside with us. But I last night I did kind of a dry run with the tinfoil. The windows were dry uh, because it was towards the end of the day. Um, and the tinfoil kept slipping, but I figured the tape would kind of help that. But I noticed, so I'm doing this first thing in the morning and there's condensation inside the van, which is just inevitable, but the condensation actually helped the tinfoil stick to the window. So pro tip, do it first thing in the morning. Now let's see how our template comes out. It's practically in one piece. I just gotta put that back together. I'll probably add a piece of tape right there. But yeah, that worked. Okay, so while she's doing that, I am changing out these light bulbs. They are regular light bulbs, like this. Uh, and I'm changing them out 
with LED ones like this. And you would think that there would be a way just to pop that little cover off uh, just to uh, get it uh, to change. But you have to take the whole thing down, the whole thing down, and then you have to take this apart with a special bit, T10, a T10 Torx bit. So then you take the whole thing apart just to get at the light bulb, and then you can change it. So. Uh, 2001 to 2007 town and country difficult to change these bulbs and the reason I'm changing these bulbs to LEDs is because if one of these gets left on uh, accidentally and we don't realize it then uh, the, it drains the entire battery um, like overnight so because there's a uh, six seven eight there's nine bulbs that uh, light up every time you open the doors. So nine of the old style bulbs versus the LED bulbs. This will probably use less power than one of those other bulbs. I'm actually thinking that I might just unhook uh, maybe three, four, of the bulbs maybe even more actually probably the back two and then the one on the uh the tailgate i've already unhooked because that's useless put a tap well we'll end up putting a tap light up underneath the tailgate and then um oh i think there's 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 also two on the door so two four six eight ten eleven bulbs on at one time with this thing okay so i have secured the template to the reflectix sorry there's not much contrast there but you can kind of see where the tin foil is and i've secured it with more gorilla tape just kind of at the corners so that as i trace it with my other tool which i forgot to say that i had as a sharpie and when I trace it, I'm going to go slightly larger. So what I'm going to do is cut my template oversized. So when I trace it, don't be like, hey Liz, can't you keep it within the lines? <laughs> uh, but yeah, I'm just going to kind of make my outline slightly larger so that I can use tension to keep it in place inside the window. So I'll show you what I mean once I have it done, if it works, it might be a flop, who knows. You guys will know when I do. Catch you on the next clip. <laughs> okay. So I probably went about a half to three quarter of an inch oversized. Um, I can always cut more if I need to, but I can't add to it, of course. So let's cut this out, see what it looks like. All right, guys, you think it's gonna fit? Let's see. How that tension works. Okay, yeah, I think that three quarter of an inch overcut was good. This is almost too much on this side. I could, well, oh no, it shifts a little. Yeah, it's got play. Um, yeah, wow. and I've heard, I've also heard they shrink, so. Oh, okay. So, yeah, I guess in the heat, that makes sense. They might shrink a little. So, um, so yeah, three quarter inch overcut seem to be perfect for, at least for this van, which is a 2006 Chrysler Town & Country. 2001 to 2007, same model. Yeah. Um, also a Dodge Caravan. Yep. All right, I'm happy with that. Uh, I'm gonna cut a few more templates of the Reflectix, and then when it warms up more today, then I'm gonna uh, put the fabric on to black it out so that when somebody's looking inside the van, they don't see all this reflectix. It just looks like we have really tinted windows. Okay. We're gonna check the other window, see if it actually fits. 
see how symmetrical it is. It should be. It should be, yeah. It's crazy if it wasn't, but you know. Fine. All right, so you just need to cut another one of those? Yeah. Sweet. Yeah. All right, so thanks for watching. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe and let us know what you think. Bye, Bye. now. Bye now. Shades.